Hi, this is Ruben Lerner. I've been teaching Python at companies around the world for close to 20 years, and for the most part, the participants in my classes uh, are programmers who come from other languages, and they are amazed by the consistency, the simplicity, the clarity of Python code. Um, the language is very easy to understand. Many, many people who don't have experience with Python are able to understand what's going on just because the syntax is so clear and obvious to people with a computer science background. However, all this clarity uh, uh, falls apart when they look at comprehensions. List, not alone set, and dictionary comprehensions drive people crazy. They're not sure what this crazy syntax is. They're not sure how it's different from a regular for loop, and they're not sure why they should be using it rather than anything else. Of course, experienced Python developers know that comprehensions are one of our best and most powerful tools. They allow us to express an incredible amount of uh, ideas, incredible number of ideas in a very short amount of space. We can read from any type of data we want, so long as it's iterable. We can filter it in a number of different ways with any sort of test we want, and we can output the um, result from any expression that we want. That combination of code makes for a truly powerful tool, but one which is very daunting for many people to get into. So. In all of my classes, I go over comprehension, sometimes in less depth, sometimes in more depth, but I always want to give people a sense of how they work and, of course, to practice them. I have taken these lessons that I give at companies around the world, and I've turned them now into this online course that you can watch and learn from, from where, wherever you want to be, whether it's at home or work or, you know, people watch these things at the beach or the airplane or wherever they happen to be. My goal is for you to understand comprehensions, not just understand them, but really internalize and become fluent with them so that you can use them in your Python development work, whether it's work or for hobbies or in your own personal projects. Um, comprehensions are really a fantastic technique, and once you get to understand them, you'll see opportunities to use them in many, many places. This course consists of nearly two hours of recorded lecture, as well as more than 15 exercises um, in which I describe not only the exercise, but I go through in detail how you should solve it, and sometimes uh, multiple ways in which you can solve the exercise. My goal is that you will understand them, want to use them, and freely use them in your Python coding work. Uh, this course is really the product of nearly 20 years of evolution in my teaching and my examples, and so I'm glad to give you the benefit of other people's experience and feedback on previous versions of this course. I hope you will enjoy this course, and if you have any questions about it whatsoever, please don't hesitate to email me. I would be delighted to answer your questions and let you know uh, whether it's appropriate and how you can benefit from it.